Welcome to Humphreys of Henley TV, Countryside Concierge at its finest. And a warm welcome back to Henley, our garden behind the office that we're lucky enough to enjoy and Hector certainly, certainly enjoys it. And we've had a lot of really interesting discussions over the last few weeks as the whole opportunity changes for, um, for people um, as far as travel is concerned. The skies are still closed for many of us, whether you're over here in the UK um, or in another part of the world. So we're all exploring what is, what is possible. And what's really emerging from our conversations is that uh, there's, a, there's a bit of both, that people want to get out and have the opportunity to really celebrate the end of lockdown with family and friends and, and doing something maybe that they wouldn't have done before because they might have been jumping on a plane to go somewhere. But at the same time, the opportunity to look a little bit further forward, maybe towards the end of the year, maybe even into, into 2021 and planning some really fabulous big trips. So we thought that it would be really useful to share just some of the new itineraries that we're creating um, that have seemed to have appealed uh, to people both here in, in the UK and, and further afield. Just an opportunity, whether you're um, uh, looking for a little romantic trip, just the two of you, or having a lovely time with, with family and friends. The, the options really are, are endless. If you're looking for something a little bit adventurous, for example, recently we've put together a fabulous itinerary, including um, learning to row, amazingly, learning to uh, play polo and getting out there and, and trying some, some country pursuits as well, a bit of um, archery and rifle shooting and, and all sorts, which is, uh, which is great fun. Then for those looking for a little bit of history and culture, they want to do a bit of learning. Not all of the palaces and grounds are open um, yet, but a lot of the grounds are starting to open up. And it seems as though, as from uh, the first week of July, um, a lot of the stately homes and palaces and so on will be open as well. So a bit of history and culture. Oh, you can't do much better than Blenheim, a fabulous trip to, to Blenheim Palace, maybe Windsor Castle, although the castle isn't open at, at the moment, but Windsor is just beautiful and you can soak up a little bit of the royal history by uh, jumping on a carriage and having a regal carriage ride through Windsor Great Park followed by a very civilised river cruise with maybe a lovely champagne afternoon tea or a picnic lunch, whatever the time of day and whatever um, suits, your, suits your appetite, we can arrange for something lovely. But seeing Windsor from the perspective of the river is, is absolutely magical. Maybe if you're looking for um, a day with um, family and friends, then uh, you might want to explore uh, the wonders of learning to play polo, which you can do. I can't say you can master it, but you can certainly learn it pretty quickly. Uh, sitting on a wooden horse, um, uh, mastering the uh, stick management and, and so on, and then getting on a polo pony. And if there are a few of you, you have a little bit of competition and play a chucker or two and and see who's who's learnt the most in in that period of time um, alternatively and we talked a bit about this last week just going on to one of our magical private estates wherever you are in the country they are um, uh, they are just just wonderful places to visit and we can arrange um, very safely for a falconer to come a shooting instructor um, you can do some horse riding and just really enjoy being with family and friends is, is, is just magical. Now I really want to share with you a rather special idea that we're, we're creating for a lovely family who were planning a bit of a trip around Europe this year um, and they were really excited about their summer trip um, going to places that they, they hadn't seen before on the mainland. So um, never one to be defeated they approached us to see what we could come up with and I'm really loving putting this itinerary together. I'll share more details with you, but we are visiting different European countries on different days of the week, 
All the while, they're staying in the Cotswolds. They're not going any further than the Cotswolds whatsoever. We've got a fabulous uh, luxury home rental for them with a pool and um, lots of gardens and so on. I think there's a tennis court as well. So it really is lovely, but they wanted something a bit more special. So we are doing a day a week in a different country. So on the um, day that they're visiting um, France, for example, their private cook will cook them nothing. They will have nothing but French um, uh, influenced food throughout the day from breakfast until dinner. Um, and to bring a little extra French influence in there, uh, they're going to have a wine tasting. On the day they're visiting Italy, funnily enough, they're having a bit of a pasta making uh, making course and then um, in honor of all of the fabulous engineering that's that's come out of Italy they're hiring a classic old Italian car having a bit of a drive through the countryside followed by a fabulous uh, fabulous river cruise uh, in honor of the Greek day um, lots of souvlaki and lots of scrummy, uh, scrummy Greek food. And as the um, uh, obviously originator of the Olympic Games, they are trying out all sorts of country pursuits in the grounds of their um, of their house. So they're going to get terribly sporty for um, for the day. Uh, the German day, they're going to do some cake making. So I think you get the theme of it. We are being really creative to get them really exploring, even if only in their minds and um, on, on their palettes, uh, exploring Europe from the um, beautiful comfort and luxury of their, their home rental in the heart of the Cotswolds. So I hope this has given you a little taste of just what is possible. Uh, whether you are staying closer to home for the uh, near future and thinking about things a little, um, a little further on, or whether you're sitting in the UK and thinking, what do people do when they go on holiday in the UK? How do I avoid all those horrendously crowded beaches that the press so love showing us photos of? And what can I do when I get to my destination? Well, I hope that's given you a little flavor that there is a huge amount to do and we will carry on sharing all of our ideas and hopefully inspire you to explore a holiday in the UK like you've never dreamt was possible. We look forward to seeing you next week.